Welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you're just starting your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with all aspects of English life read by a native British speaker. Together we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history, and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website, onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's also about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love for the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page, where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions, share your own language journey, and as a reward for being so amazing, you will get exclusive content each month. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets of Sao Paulo, or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Get comfortable and let the learning begin. Today's episode is called Common Toad. Welcome to the cool world of the common toad, Bufo Bufo, a small amphibian that is loved by people in the United Kingdom. Today, We'll learn interesting things about the common toad, like how it acts, why it's important for nature, and what people are doing to help it stay in our neighbourhoods. The common toad looks a bit bumpy and has a funny way of hopping. You might see it in the countryside or gardens in the UK. It's not like the frogs in fairy tales with crowns and wands, but it has a charm that makes people happy when they see it. The toads are good at hiding with their brown and olive colours. They blend with their surroundings. Toads are active at night when the sun goes down. They come out and start their adventures. You can hear them making croaky sounds, especially in the spring when they are looking for love. It's like a concert that tells us spring is here and it's time for baby toads that are called toadlets. But the toad's story doesn't stop with the love songs. In the spring, the male toads have a funny competition to impress the females. They hop around trying to catch a ride on the female's back. This bumpy journey ends in a water place where the females lay her eggs. Even though toads are cute, they have some problems in the world today. They lose their homes because cities and farms are growing, and sometimes they get hurt by cars when they're moving around. But don't worry, people who care about nature are doing things to help the toads. People in neighborhoods are building special roads and tunnels just for toads to keep them safe from cars. They also watch over the toads, making sure they are okay and helping them have safe places.
toads eat different things like bugs, slugs, and even small animals. They are like superheroes for gardens because they eat pests that can hurt plants. Toads are very clever when they catch their food. They sit and wait, then quickly use their long, sticky tongue to catch bugs and other tasty treats. During spring, toads spend more time near water, eating bugs that live there. It's important to know that what toads eat can change depending on how old they are and where they live. As we finish our toad adventure, remember that these little creatures are more than just bumpy and funny. They help nature stay balanced, and their playful actions bring happiness to those who see them. So the next time you see a common toad during your evening walk, take a moment to enjoy nature. But because behind those bumps and sticky tongs, is a story of bravery, love, and making sure our world stays amazing. Remember to join me on Patreon for exclusive content. This month's video is all about Bonfire Night, celebrated in the UK on the 5th of November. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Please comment, like and share so even more people can discover me and my podcast. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further. Whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics, I'm here to guide you on your English journey. 30 minute lessons are £8 and 60 minute lessons are just £15. Buy a package of 10 lessons and you'll get your 11th lesson for free. If you haven't had a lesson with me before, why not try a 20 minute trial lesson to see what the lessons are like for the reduced cost of just £5. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining my Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps me bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of my show. Plus, you will receive exclusive content so you can keep practicing your listening skills even more. It starts from just one pound. Your support truly means the world to me and I couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining me here on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing.